The Guilty, directed by Antoine Fuqua. You know, the last film he directed, Infinite, starring Mark Wahlberg and Tawetta Ejiofor was pretty bad. I believe I gave that film a six out of 10, and I'm pretty sure that I probably should have given it an even lower grade, but you know, whatever. But before we get into that, the film stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Ethan Hawke, and Bill Burr. So The Guilty is about a troubled police detective who was demoted to 911 operator duty and is now in a situation where he has to struggle to save a distressed caller. So just to be honest, I thought The Guilty was great. It was actually one of my favorite films that I covered so far from TIFF. Uh, actually, I'm only going to be covering just a few films from TIFF this year, but I had to talk about this movie in particular and another review that'll be coming very soon following this one. So I haven't seen the original Danish version uh, of this movie, but I do know that Jake Gyllenhaal was actually inspired enough by the original to want to recreate uh, this film with Antoine Fuqua directing. And also, fun fact, this film was actually shot at the end of 2020 at the time when Antoine Fuqua had contracted COVID. Now, he tested negative days later, but to continue production, Antoine directed the film from a van parked a block away and used cameras on set to direct the film remotely. So throughout directing the film, he was never on set. And I don't think I've ever heard of that before, but it's pretty interesting and I wanted to mention that. So I very much enjoyed this one. Uh, it was all shot in one location, but it provided a lot of verbal imagery for the viewers to follow the story. Uh, it's very emotional at times and funny, suspenseful and thrilling. And Jake Gyllenhaal, who might be my favorite actor, had an impressive and immersive performance and it delivers and accomplishes its job as being an entertaining experience in my opinion. So the only issue that I'll point out that some viewers may not like about this film at all is that it has a serious lack of visual imagery throughout the film. You know, with it all being shot in one location and all, and that could be a big problem for some people. You'll get bored very quickly. Uh, some will just looking at the same visuals for an hour and a half. Also, I can see the overall moral message of this film not having its intended effect on some viewers. So that could also be an issue as well. I would say that I think it was intended to spark more important conversations and highlight the lack of compassion we show for others sometimes, but I don't know how clearly that message was really delivered throughout this film. So I'm giving The Guilty a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's definitely worth a watch. And if you're personally not bothered by movies that have a lack of visual imagery and they don't really have a big change in setting very often really at all, uh, then yeah, you should definitely check this film out because it is very immersive and intriguing. It just takes a bit of patience. But The Guilty hits theaters September 24th and afterwards it will stream on Netflix on October 1st, I believe. But if you have other means of accessing the film, uh, I would probably browse around and see what you can find. But there you have it. And if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.